This is the problem. The administration has repeatedly claimed that a budget crisis precipitated by declining enrollment in the College of Arts and Sciences has ne necessitated faculty layoffs and cuts. They have distributed misleading fact sheets, and I urge you all to take a copy of our not misleading fact sheet. Uh, their sheet includes cherry-picked and out-of-context numbers. They have purposely worked to shrink the College of Arts and Sciences. They have laid off the lowest paid and most productive teachers, all while increasing their own numbers and increasing their own over-the-top pay. We face the absurd situation where we are being presented with cuts in resources as a way to strengthen the college. This is idiotic. There are departments that are that are feeling the, the, the repercussions of these decisions in a most severe kind of way, threatening their ability to provide the kind of education that the faculty and staff here are determined to provide for our students. We celebrate the speech and activism of students, and we stand with the students who are facing disciplinary action for participating in the February 26th no Names for Justice rally. Uh, professors nor students were impacted by the rally. Administrative ego was. And our school should be a freedom and exchange of ideas, thoughts, and debate, not a playground for egos and, and a, uh, a recruiting ground for profit. I'm one of the nine activists currently being sanctioned and made to go through the formal conduct hearing process. My crime, according to Annie Stevens, Vice Provost of Student Affairs, and Daphne Wells, Director of Student Life, is using a megaphone inside Waterman, just like however many feet that way. This university is trying to silence students into submission. This administration knows exactly what they're doing and they know exactly what they're not doing. They are very aware that they uh, are sanctioning a group of students who come from marginalized communities based on bullshit charges. They know that they are not doing anything to make sure that this campus is safe for students of marginalized communities. This university is actively stealing the work and voices of student activists to make themselves look better. This university is waiting for student activists to put in the time and labor to do the work that the university officials are paid to do, and then writing it off in a cute report as their own work. Now, yes, now they're going <laughs> so far as to punish the same students that they're capitalizing off of. By including our notes and demands in this report, that makes UVM administrators look like they actually care about students from marginalized communities, uh, is an act of injustice is an act of violence and it cannot go unnoticed. I just want to make it clear that the equity and inclusion that you see on this campus is not the work of anyone sitting in one of those offices. If the university really wants to report on being diverse and inclusive, they could at least start by not taking credit for student work. <laughs> they are few and the fact is that we are many, there are many on our side and the more we get out, get out the word about what's happening on this university, um, the more of a chance we have to fight this and make a change. Yeah, I just think that we just all have to like um, just stand together and like there's power in numbers. So I personally believe that we should all go into the president's office and hand in the petition, whether or not we get arrested or not. But that's just me. I'm a radical. But yeah, there's that. We have a petition. Where's the petition? Caitlin has the petition with all of the names. And I want to, uh, I've invited a few people to go over. Anyone who, who wants to go over, as long as we don't amplify sound in Waterman. We can walk it over and we're going to hand it uh, to the uh, who's ever in the president's office. So this no. is the petition. <laughs> Woo! 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 We call on the UVM administration to immediately reinstate laid off faculty in classics and romance languages. We call on the UVM administration to immediately freeze course caps on introductory courses campus-wide. We call on the UVM administration to immediately commit to preserving UVM's language, arts, and humanities programs. Our petition has been signed by nearly 1,000 faculty, staff, students, alumni, and community members. Um, yeah, we wanted to deliver a petition to the president or to the president's office, which seems to be blocked. Okay. We'll take it. 
Oh, you're not going to let us come in? Uh, I don't think I can. Are they out at lunch? The they just the don't. The not there. Oh. Yeah, we a, just thought we'd walk into reception and hand it. There's an accreditation visit going on this week, so. There's a what? Accreditation visit. Okay, accreditation, yes. Yeah, so everybody's busy with that. I'm glad we ran but into I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to take that. This. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm Sarah Alexander. I'm Jim B. Oh, can you say your name again? Jim B. Okay. What's your title? I'm Associate Provost of Oh, I should probably know that. I, I guess I didn't. Okay. Um, let's see. Who has our petition? I think, I mean, it'd be nice to bring it in, have one person bring it in. We just want to know it gets you don't there. Trust me? I, I'd just like to know that it gets there. It'll we get we there. put a lot of work into you, this. You have my word. I'll okay. There you go. All right, I guess that's the best we're going to get today, everyone. We've been locked out. I fear that we've been deliberately locked out. Oh, yeah. Uh, your petition has been received. I can assure you of that. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you all. Thank you.